So I just wanted to talk today a little bit about how I got a film score from my YouTube channel. A few years ago, I was invited to do part of a film score in a horror film. Over the course of a year, the director didn't work out in the film and I didn't get to do my part. I didn't get to do the score. But that really got my uh, imagination going with a lifelong interest of film scores anyway. And uh, it sort of inspired me to start my own YouTube channel, this channel, to just score my own films, make music and sounds for my own videos. And so that's what I did and I got started with that almost two years ago now. Then one day I made a video for a DIY instrument that I built that was inspired from Mark Corvan's uh, apprehension engine or nightmare machine. And um, I put that video in the nightmare machine Facebook group. And within just a few minutes, um, Phil Wurzel of Frile Films uh, contacted me. He was a big fan of The Witch and asked if I would score his film. He really liked the sound in my video of what I was doing and he thought it would be a fit for his horror movie. And so immediately I said yes and we worked out the details over time. My video from my YouTube channel that was inspired from being rejected from a film score actually got me a film score. So the film that I wrote the music for is called Dormant Evil. It's a horror movie and a period piece. Uh, and I would describe it as a supernatural serial killer story. Um, the film takes place in 1900 and it's very well filmed and written and it's really an honor to be a part of it. My approach to the film score was to use more organic instruments. Even though you, I'm using electronic music at some, to some degree, um, I wanted to have a bit more of an organic sound and to keep it similar to my electroacoustic sound box and what Phil uh, heard from the beginning. So I used my laps, my homemade DIY lap steel guitar with Ebo and slide and used quite a variety of library sounds from free giveaways that I had been saving for several years. And it turns out that, uh, you know, the, the library that I built was invaluable in scoring this film. All right, so now I'm back with the instrument that got me the film score. And this is what I call the electroacoustic sound box. I made a nice box and put two uh, piezo mics in here to run out stereo sound or to have different types of sound in mono. And what we have here is a spring instrument which also supplies spring reverb. Um, to the other sounds and can be played itself. Um, we have a stretched wire here that makes a lovely sound. I included a five string guitar um, using dulcimer pins so that there's no neck hanging off. It's a compact instrument because I have a small studio. I have three different kinds of kalimbas on the front and we have some rulers for all kinds of percussive effects here. 
can also play on the box itself. This lap steel guitar that I made from a 2x4, you can see. And I really love this instrument. I play it a lot with the Ebo and a slide and lots of effects pedals as well and I did use this in the score some as well. One thing that was fantastic about doing this film, it's my first score, first film that I've ever scored, was that I basically had carte blanche on the whole thing. Uh, I, I was expecting a lot more redos and requests and things, but um, it didn't go that way. And uh, it was uh, easier for me, you know, to, uh, to work like that. I really thank Phil and the whole crew for allowing me to have such freedom um, to score the film with. So the film is Dormant Evil, and it should be coming out I would say in 2023, uh, it's been in post-production for a while, so I would, I would expect it next year and hopefully coming to a streaming channel near you. I'd like to say thank you to everyone that has subscribed to my channel, especially when I haven't been putting out videos at times and subscribers still keep coming in. That's really awesome and it's very encouraging and I appreciate all of you. I guess that's it.